Yeah, we're about um, half done the album. We're still doing a bit of writing and uh, and getting gonna get a couple new songs going. But um, yeah, we've got about half of it done, so we're pretty excited so far. Yeah, pretty sweet. And once again, whether you're playing tonight at uh, Village Guitar and Amp along with the Shoes Joes, uh, right now I see you with a pair of acoustics and a bass, and well, Hattie doesn't have much going on. It's <laughs> beating the shaker, but uh, how, how's, the, how's the show tonight? More electric? More yeah, electric? it's going to be a full band show tonight, so um, yeah, expect it to be rocking for sure. Yeah, nice. So yeah, Jason Hattie, you got, I guess you've got to be feeling pretty good right now. I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> great. I mean, I'm lounging, I'm hitting myself. Um, <laughs> Honestly, like the band moved a couch. Like, like they, they said, Zach and, and Hattie are in the back on a couch during now. So that's not a usual thing. Love seat. Yeah, <laughs> love seat. Definitely. Leopard print love seat. Yeah, no it's, doubt. It's eh? pretty sexy in here. People are missing missing out by not having visuals. So, uh, hey, Paul, you're over there in the corner. How, how are you doing, Paul? I'm good. How, how's yeah. this this joining up with the pistol whips thing working on? Uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's a good time. <laughs> no, there's, a, there's some solid grooves in that song, so uh, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, for bringing that up. Well, we're gonna be playing that one tonight and a bunch of new stuff, like Robin was saying, off this album and having Hattie in the mix. Now we're we're super happy that he decided to join the band. Christian down in LA, if you're listening, we miss you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's killing it though. He just got a scholarship That's from his school, which is pretty exciting. So yeah, he's doing a good job there. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's a pretty hard-working drummer, eh? so it's good mm. that he's finally uh, getting a bit of credit for that. Um, yeah, i, I got to ask, too, like, uh, it, it, finally a full length, right? Yeah. Like, that that's fantastic, because so far all I got is this little uh, yeah. four-song EP, exactly. and I actually, in my, my copy, i got barbecue sauce on it, so <laughs> it's a new, new product. So. <laughs> Some new shrapnel on our CD. Yeah, yeah, it, it happens. I, I have a weird kitchen, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> So, so how's the, how's the songwriting going? Is, is there, there pressure to kind of finish this off, or do you think you have more material than you need? I think we definitely have more than we need. We're definitely going to, and we still want to write a couple more just for options <clears> to kind of see where it goes. We kind of have a good idea of what we want the album to sound like, how we want it to round out, like what kind of songs we want on the album, that kind of thing. We want it to be pretty well balanced. So, yeah, we're just working on doing that now. I think this um, uh, this album, too, has been all of us kind of writing together, and yeah. this nice. is kind of like the Pistol Whips is, so. Yeah, we keep, like, voice memoing each other new song ideas, and, like, in, at all hours of the night, yeah. and, like, little <laughs> chord progressions, and, and then we have all that stuff that we're writing now, and then Ryan has so many old songs as well, so we're kind of going, like, timeline-wise in both directions, um, from songs that, like, we wrote, you know, three or four years ago to stuff we're writing right now and trying to pick out the best stuff that's going to fit in and make the, the album cohesive. Yeah, for sure. Right on. How, what's your feeling about uh, how, how the uh, the world or, or, or the rest of people might perceive you having a full album on deck versus a four song EP? Well, I think it's just, it's kind of like, obviously it's the next natural step, but I think it's it's a lot different nowadays. You know, you don't play a bar and some A&R person magically hears you and you know, gives you a record contract on the spot, you know, even with a four song EP, a lot of labels and management companies, you know, it's not quite enough for them to totally be on board. They want to know that you have, you know, an album to promote, videos to go with it, they want all that kind of stuff, you know, even before they're kind of interested. So, you know, we were in talks, you know, with some people trying to, you know, kind of make that next step, you know, to the next level. But, um, but yeah, I think definitely having the full album is, is the biggest part of that, so. Last time I saw you guys, you were playing on a boat. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. I, I think they, they might have actually, I, I've never heard that boat make a noise before, so maybe you might have been the first and the last to pull off a rock show. Well, definitely a rock show. I think that they've had like some jazz nights. Right. They've had like, you know, a four-piece jazz band, or they've had, uh, I think maybe they said Brad John or once did an acoustic performance on there, but um, I think we're definitely the first people, the first band to do a full-on two-hour rock show. Brad didn't bring the genre boys, eh? I don't think so. <laughs> no, they're, they're not good to have on boats with boys. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Why is it like we thought about us? <laughs> we're still alive, so. We only lost one of Paul's shoes. <laughs> so, that was the only thing that went overboard, and so we're pretty safe. All right. Well, well let's, let's hear another one, man. What's All the right. second one we're going to hear? Uh, this is one of our newest songs um, that we kind of just wrote together. It's called On Your Side.
We'll be broken down. I don't see the time. Yeah, I know. Anytime you guys want to bring your instruments, I'm game. Oh, and, uh, right. and if you want to hear more of this, then there is more. There's more tonight. Tonight at Village Guitars, 9 o'clock. Sure. Uh, yeah, come early. It's limited seating, so if you want to get <laughs> in, you know, it's going to be a pretty packed house. So definitely show up early. Um, yeah, and otherwise, you know, if you can't make it tonight, check out thepistolips.bandcamp.com or check out our EP on iTunes. Awesome, and uh, best of luck with the new album. Uh, definitely uh, come on by when that sucker's finished. Eh? Awesome, definitely. That we will. Cool. Well, that's it for the first half hour of The Buzz. Uh, I, I think that was probably the best first hour I've had in, uh, in a couple weeks now. That's That was fantastic. Jeez. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll, we'll stay tuned. I'll, I'll, I'll have a second half hour. It's probably not going to be as good. It's going to be mostly recorded music. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll manage to have a good time anyways, eh? Cool. Yeah, have a happy Halloween. And we'll see you after these commercials, one of which may or may not be good. Uh... <laughs> 